everything just restored to balance physiologically. And I can't tell you how much better I felt. Angela Mackey has battled an autoimmune disease for most of her life, causing her horrible abdominal pain and inability to digest most foods. After years of failed medical treatments, Mackey decided to take a more natural approach and discovered the amazing healing power of superfoods. I feel better in my 40s than I did in my 20s. Experts say superfoods contain a high concentration of phytonutrients and antioxidants, providing the body with what it needs quickly. It can help prevent damage from occurring to our body cells or help repair damage that's already been done. Registered dietitian Jennifer May says superfoods can do things like reduce inflammation, lower blood pressure, cholesterol, and even ward off cancer. It doesn't take a lot to get these profound benefits. If you can just incorporate a little bit here or there into your regular meal planning throughout the week, you're going to reap these benefits. Greta Peck incorporates superfoods into her diet every day and says the anti-aging properties are an added bonus. I feel great. I feel great. I'm 60 years old. Most people don't believe that. Have a glow, you know, they feel more hydrated, they're sleeping better, you know, and just more energy. Simple favorites like spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and even cinnamon contain something called flavanols. Just the scent of cinnamon may enhance cognitive ability. They also have some positive benefits in controlling blood sugar levels. It's the antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory properties in superfoods that have the potential to prevent cancer. Experts say garlic has the ability to neutralize certain cancer causing compounds and slow down the growth of tumors. A leafy green called watercress is also showing incredible results in this area. And there was a recent study that was just published last year that showed the positive impact of watercress in preventing breast cancer from initiating or preventing the spread of breast cancer cells. Certain fruits are also proving to be a valuable addition to the diet. Studies show mangosteen fruit or juice may improve immune response, treat acne, and prevent heart disease. Goji berries, cherries, and dark chocolate are also great for heart health. As for sea buckthorn, it's a berry with a dense source of omega-3, 6, 7, and 9 fatty acids. The omega-7 has been shown to be very good for digestive health, and it is one of the only foods that contains that whole component of all of those omega fatty acids. It's also been shown to be very good for our skin, hair, and, and cosmetic as well. Almonds and flaxseed are also packed with these fatty acids and contain high amounts of fiber. Many superfoods are available in supplement form, but don't have the same strength as the fresh whole food. You know, when they, when they consume the foods in, in their whole states, they're really getting more than just if they get one particular supplement. There's a synergistic effect of all of these components in these superfoods that you can't mimic in a supplement. Angela Mackey prefers her superfoods in tea form. She gave up her career as a nurse to become the proud owner of Light of Day Organic Teas, growing her own hand-harvested foods, drying them, and creating amazing combinations of superfoods you can drink. Which is andrew berries, which where they're grown in the Himalayas, these people are living just extraordinarily long time. This also has reishi mushrooms in it, mate leaf, and then astragalus root, and ashwagandha, um, noni from Hawaii, red pepper. Superfoods restored balance to Mackey's life, and now she hopes to do the same for others. If I hadn't gone through this process, if I hadn't become ill, I wouldn't have had this opportunity to become well and to share it with other people. Bosch Grand Travers in a new Mazda 3 for just $199 a month. Zero down, sign and drive. Welcome back to Up North Live tonight. One tea company is going beyond organic into something greener. ABC Ambassador Jamie Kramer visits Light of Day Organic Tea Company and finds out what it's like for a business to have the highest of ethics and standards. Light of Day Tea Company, lesson one. That was pretty weak. Try it again. <laughs> the weak slurp. <laughs> Try it again. It's You're a weak, weak slurper. Like, nice. See different? Oh, yeah. You get it by slurping, you kind of get it up all through your whole palate. Mm -hmm. So you can really taste it, and the taste kind of lingers. Lesson two. Let your life lead you to your passion. Was we had identified that I had a weed allergy. And so then it, just the next four years after that was undoing the damage that had been done from all the inflammation to my immune system. So that's, that's where the teas started. Just trying to find all the ingredients I needed to put 
delicious tasting blends together that were also effective for decreasing inflammation. Lesson three, set your standards higher than the status quo. Our land is the only certified biodynamic land in the state of Michigan. And last time I counted, there were less than 50 certified biodynamic farms in the whole country. And bio what? You know, people always ask, bio what? Um, Demeter Biodynamic has higher standards than the National Organic Program. Um, National Organic Program is a prerequisite for a certification for Demeter Biodynamic, but um, we basically had to be certified organic for at least three years before we could even apply to be certified biodynamic. Um, conventional farming takes more than it it gives to the land. Organic farming aims to be neutral, to give back what it takes, and biodynamic farming always improves the vitality of not only the land that you're working, but they theorize about a 10 mile radius because of the homeopathy that we're applying directly to the earth. We, um, we have more birds and butterflies here. Our worm count has gone up exponentially. It's just really exciting. It feels different here. Lesson four give to both restore balance to the earth. I think there's been a lot of damage done over the years, um, part just from ignorance, part from irresponsibility and recklessness on our part, but also to restore balance to the final recipient of every cup of tea. I mean, that is the prayer we say as we're picking seeds, harvesting crops, drying them, that the final consumer is just gonna be blessed with with the restoration of balance. So that is my goal. Okay, go. Lesson five, variety is the spice of life. In the pre-packaged teas, we have well over 40. And then including Angela's private collection, we definitely have over 200. Lesson six, never stop learning. There are tea companies popping up all over the country as our nation's desire for tea and taste for tea is growing and it's no better time to come out here and any time of year, come check us out. We're teaching tea classes. We've got a big table where we teach classes every other weekend. So you have some stuff here, Jamie. Yeah. Um, right as rain. Yeah. Angela takes so much care in everything that she does, and I just kind of would like to say that I think if everyone held their standard of business to where she does, I think we would all be living in a really, really great world. Um, but yeah, she, uh, we've got some great teas. They're beautiful, they're all gorgeous. This is what I like though, it's the hummingbird. She brought this, Jamie brought this in earlier today. You brought the hummingbird you nectar chew. You can eat it, it's, it's tea that's so good you can eat it. You can, I'm gonna <laughs> eat some right now actually, it's addicting. Yeah, it is. Very, very addicting. Very addicting. What exactly is this? I mean, um, just different flowers and uh, it's very fruity and, and dried. Yeah, it's delightful. Goodness. Pretty much. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jamie. I'm just there gonna keep go. eating this as we go, <laughs> along with popping my bubble wrap. Um, if you'd like more information on Light of Day organic teas, you can always head over to our website, upnorthlive.com.